Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing Northern Monk and Lervig's North Star 2. This is a vanilla, cacao and hazelnut imperial stout at 9%. All well, that is right on the front. Um, this is one that I picked up from Morrison's. Um, I can't remember how much it was but it wasn't too expensive, surprisingly. Um, I've not had North Star 1 so I don't know what it was or... Um, what it's like, but hopefully this one's good. Um, oh, it says it's here. It's a twist on Northern Star. I've not had that one either, but hey ho. It says on the back, um, an indulgent imperial stout brewed with Norwegian dessert inspired ingredients. Skal, I think that's pronounced. Um, yeah, and it just says vanilla, cacao, and hazelnut imperial stout collab, and then a bunch of other guff. Which I've probably read on previous cans. Um, cannot though, it looks quite nice. So Viking ships. Um, looks like a Norse town. It looks quite nice, I like it. Lervig's star there. And on the sails. It looks nice, and then in the background you've got the uh, ingredients. The chocolate, the... Or the cacao, sorry. Hazelnuts, nice looking cans. So, with all that said, let's crack it open, shall we? And see what we've got. Right, so what we've got is a very badly poured beer. That was my fault. I can smell it already. Um, pitch black, as you'd expect from an Imperial Stout. Um, nice dark tanned head. Compact bubbles towards the bottom, then quite loose up there. Looks really nice. So let's get a smell, shall we, and see what we get. Chocolate. Ooh, chocolate. Dark chocolate, milk chocolate, roasted malts, a little bit of licorice, just nice dark, bitter smells. Oh, that smells lovely. Should give it a quick top up before I get the uh, body and carb. So, let's go for body and carb, shall we? See what we get. For an Imperial Stout, it's quite, it's not as heavy or thick as I thought it was going to be, or full bodied, it's sort of medium, with a light medium carbonation. You can see the bubbles, if my camera will, yeah they've gone, never mind. But it's, it's got a more carby feel than a usual um, Stout, which is a little surprising. Let's go for the big old taste, shall we? Cheers. Ooh. Ooh. There's so much going on. Give me a sec. There's loads going on. So, for me, you get, well, I get um, big bursts of licorice. I don't know why. It's really, like the, just like licorice sweet. Fly about, I've seen it in the camera. Um, like a, a sherbet fountain, but without the sherbet. It's the licorice stick. Get loads of that. It's all I can get. Well, say all. That's what it opens with. Pure licorice. Moves on, dark chocolate, roasted malts, a little bit of vanilla, not too much. It's it's the first thing it says on the can, vanilla, but I'm not getting it really, really. It's a tiny bit, but it's it's the first the first ingredient said. I was expecting big hits of it, I'm not getting it. Hoping further down, I'll get it, but. Oh. 
Yeah, um, licorice, dark chocolate, roasted malt, bit of hazelnut, it's more hazelnut than there is, um, vanilla and hazelnut the last ingredient said. It says, uh, it says vanilla, cacao and hazelnut, so I was expecting vanilla, chocolate and then a bit of hazelnut. I'm getting chocolate, hazelnut and a bit of vanilla with licorice like I said. It's dark, it's slightly dry as well. But it's nice. Like I said, flavour for me is, for some reason, a licorice, and I don't know why. Flies. Um, 9% as well. Really well hidden. I think. It, it seems hidden. No, there's a bit of alcohol on the back of the tongue, but besides that... It's not, there's none there, none in the cheeks. It's really, really well hidden. Um, but it's 9% and compared to some of the Imperials I've had, it's 9% is not a lot, but compared to some of the other stouts I've had, 9% is a lot. So, yeah. Um, it's it's good. It's a good little, good, well, say little. It's a good stout. It's Northern Monk. It's a good stout. I wasn't expecting bad. But I was expecting more, I'm not really going to lie about that. I was expecting a lot more. Yeah, I was expecting a lot more. But ah well. Um, so, I'm going to go away and finish this. Because it's good, but it's not the best that I've had, unfortunately. So, Northern Monk and Lervig's Norse Star 2. Um... Vanilla, Cacao and Hazelnut Imperial Stout. Out of 10, I'm going to give that a 7. I think it's okay. I think it's a good a good Imperial Stout. But it's not one of the best ones I've had. Flies everywhere, I'm telling you. Um, yeah, I've had better. It says decadent, rich and chocolatey. It's chocolatey. It's rich. It's not what it says there, though. It doesn't, it doesn't have vanilla. I can't find vanilla. But, oh well. So yeah, 7 out of 10. It's a good little stout, but it's not the best I've had. So if you've had this before, please let me know. Let me know what you think, if you like it. If you don't, uh, pardon me. Um, if you've not had it, I'll leave Northern Monk and Lervig in the description below. Um, like I said, I got mine from Morrison's, so it's down to you where you get yours. Um, if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want to subscribe, consider doing so, because the show must go on, etc, etc, so on and so forth, and I'll see you later.